Hey guys, today we're checking out uh, Memphis Mayfire's new song, Blood and Water. Now I know there's a lot of strong opinions about this band, and I don't really have one because uh, I've honestly never checked them out. They probably come up in a shuffle on YouTube music for me, but I've never really sought them out. Uh, I just know kind of that they have an interesting reputation. People either love them or they hate them. But I've heard good things about this new song. A lot of people saying that it's really, really heavy, uh, that it's a return to form. It's like their old stuff. So we're gonna check it out. This is Memphis Mayfire, Blood and Water. This is really so chaotic. Whoa. That's some weird guitar tone. Turn this up. It really reminds me of uh, Beartooth, like a guitar tone. I like the vocals so far. Catchy chorus. It's, it's pretty good, like, catchy, um, the chords are really kind of dark, but they fit really well. This kind of bare to riff is really nice. Back to that chorus. See where this goes. So far it's pretty pretty standard song structure. First chorus, first chorus. The drummer's got double bass drums. So it's kind of got this bare tooth, bring me the horizon vibe. That is a nice breakdown. A little, a little short, but pretty good. Yeah, it's really interesting. Uh, Alright, that was Memphis Mayfire, Blood and Water. Let's talk about that. So I have a couple thoughts about this track. Um, first of all, the chorus, super, super catchy. Very, uh, very, very pop inspired. Not necessarily a bad thing, you know. Um, I appreciate a well-constructed chorus, for sure. Uh, the riffs were really, really crunchy, 
kind of that octave fuzz sound that Beartooth uses on their new record um, and kind of Architects does in the song Black Lungs, you know. Not really a typical metalcore sound. There's a lot of production work going on as well. Um, lots of little samples and synths and things like that, which remind me of Bring Me the Horizon, which really brings me to the the heart of really what I feel about this track is that like it's not necessarily anything that's reinventing the wheel, if you know what I mean. All the elements that I liked about it, I can point to the other things that bands have done before them uh, that, that reminds me of. Uh, you know, the, the production and the synths remind me of the Horizon, the guitar tone reminds me of Beartooth, which is not a dig at them for, for, for sure. It's very well done. Overall, I'd say a pretty good first impression. I'm definitely going to give it a few more listens to let it kind of sink in. I really liked the song, just nothing uh, incredibly experimental or avant-garde, you know, that's blowing my mind. Uh, but you know, not everything has to be that way. Let me know in the comments down below if Memphis Mayfire is worth checking out, if I should check out some of their other songs, which ones would you like me to check out? Leave those in the comments down below. Uh, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot more of these. Um, you know, tons of great music coming out this year. Lots to be excited about. We're going to check it all out together. So that is going to do it for me today. I'll see you in the next one.